Hey everyone, I'm Simon Coleman, the head judge of the Insurance Apprentice, and I'd just like to spend a few moments chatting to you about the upcoming season. Uh, there are going to be a lot of changes. Uh, I've got somebody that I'm going to introduce you to today, and maybe just to highlight some of the differences in, in the entry process. So we'll be talking through that. And uh, if you haven't entered yet, you're running out of time because the closing date is at the end of August. So you really need to get your stuff together uh, and send it through as soon as possible. Uh, but really, the real reason why we're here today is because I'm going to introduce you to someone that most of you probably already know. So with me today, I've got Letlokono Lotau. Uh, he's going to be joining us on this next season of The Insurance Apprentice, something we haven't done before. Um, but we'll take, we'll take the audience through and, and I'm sure everybody at home is sitting there wondering what is Tao actually doing? Is he a secret entrant to the contest? Uh, is he a new judge? Mm. Or is there some new role that he's going to be playing? So um, a couple of weeks ago we got together with Tao yeah. and um, we had a chat and, and we thought we'd mix things up a little bit uh, in the forthcoming season. So, Tao, you won't be sitting at the judging panel, but you'll be playing, I think, a far more important role. So, do you just want to take us through that? How's it, everybody? My name is Tao, and I'm glad to be part of the Insurance Apprentice 2020. I'm excited to be here. And as Simon mentioned, we're doing things differently this year. So, the Insurance Apprentice has been running for the last five years, and we thought this year we'd change things a bit because we want to make this more energetic, more engaging, more fun, because we are, in, we are dealing with uh, the under 35s in the insurance industry and we want to make sure that they are engaged, they are on cue with what we want to do. So I'll be your host for this year and I'm excited and looking forward to it. Yeah, I think what, what we decided after the last season is that, you know, the only interaction we were having with the contestants yeah. was, was really as, as judges which is a very intimidating process. You know, it really isn't us and them. We're sitting behind the table. Yeah. They're opposite us. We're firing questions at them. So your role is, is definitely to, you know, be with them in the trenches. And what we're really looking forward to is, of course, Tao getting some of the insights that perhaps we don't always get to share uh, on camera. Absolutely, and uh, making sure that we, we take out some of the stuff that um, the, the viewers don't see behind the cameras, behind the scenes, stuff that happens in preparation when they deliver their projects and make sure that uh, they give you the best insurance no, you, apprentice you're for safety. Absolutely right, yeah. because what I've seen in, in prior seasons, we've had the apprentices put on this uh, sort of front where uh, you know they're in front of the camera now, they're sitting in yeah. front of the judges. And suddenly everybody's just getting along fantastically. Mm. When we know that there were some interesting dynamics playing out in the background. And I think some of the stuff that you're talking about, someone that you're highlighting, like conflict, realities that in the workplace where these guys will be, uh, there will be conflicts and we just want them to, to show us how they manage those conflicts. You know, and that's it. very important. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Look, some of, the, some of the other things that we'll be seeing this season, I think the tasks are, as always, very challenging. Uh, but what we've, I think, saw in the last couple of seasons, uh, it does seem to ramp up a little bit um, with each new season. So I think the guys are going to find that challenging. Do you think you're going to be, will you be able to sort of hold their hands a little, maybe help them through the process? Geez, they might find me a task on my own, so <laughs> they might have to deal with me and they might think I am In fact, if, if you can yeah. deal with Tao, you might be the winner, so I mean that's... Ah, that's a brilliant <laughs> idea, yeah. eh? But yeah. don't focus on Tao, you need to focus on the task. And I think to your question, yes, absolutely, I will help them, hold their hand, guide them through the process, and make sure that their, their natural selves really come out and we see who they truly are and not just putting up a, a show for the insurance apprentice and that's it. You know, we really want to know the person behind the, the presentation, the delivery. We really want to get inside of them to say, come out, show us who you are and... I think that's yeah. actually an excellent point because, you know, being the insurance apprentice, the winner, yeah. that's a title that you're really yeah. holding for an entire year. So you're not in the spotlight for a single second. Yeah. You're an ambassador for the uh, insurance industry throughout the year. Yeah. 
Um, so knowing a little bit more about the person and the personalities that are involved, I think is, is really going to help us um, in choosing a winner this year yeah. um, and, and hopefully getting the best ambassador for, for the industry, which is yeah. really what it's all about. No, true, true. And the thing is, someone I've, I've, I've been fortunate to be in the industry since the insurance apprentice has been running and I've met some of the winners of this show. And they are like so-called celebrities in the insurance industry because we watch them on the insurance apprentice. However, deep down when you meet them at functions in their workplace, they are just people like you and I. Mm. And I think my role will be to try and bring that up front to say, mm. you don't have to put up a fair, I mean, a facade for the cameras, mm. but you gotta be yourself because ultimately that's what who you are on a daily basis at work when you interact with your stakeholders and your business partners. And that's going to be very important as well. I mean, let's talk a little bit about your journey. Yeah. I mean, how did you land up where you are now? You're, you're working at Suntam at the moment, I believe, which is a relatively new appointment yeah. for you. Absolutely. Joined Suntam in December last year, uh, 2017, as a business development manager. And before that, I was at Sazria for about eight years as a customer relations manager and got promoted to uh, the head of the department and different roles. So, so you've really come up through several financial services companies. How would you have approached this uh, coming into the apprentice? Would you have entered? I'm assuming you're not th uh, under 35 anymore. Yeah, let's not tell the audience how old <laughs> I am. Uh, my, my wife is watching. So um, I would have entered without any hesitation because I think it's a great opportunity for the young professionals in the insurance industry to embrace what the insurance apprentice is all about. It's a platform for them to showcase their talent. Um, it's a platform for, for them to really elevate their profiles in the insurance industry. And I think it's a platform that fits these types of um, professionals because they believe in different platforms. And I would have entered without any hesitation at all. I, I'm not sure if I have the looks for, for, for the cameras though, but yeah, I would have tried. We'll leave that up to the ladies to decide. I think there might Ooh. be a vote on that. <laughs> <laughs>